So getting late in the season here for the baseball team. Here's a fly ball to deep right center field off the bat of Dungan, back to the track, to the wall, it's gone, and we're tied 1-1 as Clay Dungan has hit his fifth home run of the year. Well, we told you, there's gonna be a few home runs, and we said when Valpo knocked theirs out of it, that shake it. Demon delivers to the plate, and there's a ground ball to third again. Jorgensen has this one, comes home, and it's dropped by the catcher, picked up, but not in time. First pitch from Tiemann, hit hard into deep right center field. Dents on the run to the track, he won't get it, it's off the wall. Wright scores easily. Rounding third is Watkins, he's headed home, he'll score. Into third is Huntley, a two-run triple. It's six to one, Indiana State. Holly trying to strike out the side here in this inning. The one-two pitch, strike three call. Four in the ball game for Tristan Polly as he sets him down, one, two, three. The 1 pitch, there's a hard hit ball, that's into center field, a base hit. Max Wright's gonna round third, he'll score easily. Fagan with an RBI single, it's eight to one, Indiana State. A born field, the 2-0 pitch to Boyle, grounded hard left side, backhanded it short by Shaken. Long throw to first, not in time, and an infield base hit for Boyle. Indiana State runs this inning, have come after two or out. 2-1 pitch to Dungan, hit the deep right field, way back to the wall. This ball is out of here. A three-run home run for Clay Dungan, his second of the ball game. And the Sycamores now lead it 13-1. Non-conference. The 2-2 two -two from Polly, swing and a miss, and Tristan Polly with the seventh strikeout of the ball game. It's the second one in the inning. Really good about that tomorrow. The 2-1, swing, third base side, death stays fair, means steps on the third base back for one. On the first for a double play, Jake Means, 5-3 to three to get Capers, five unassisted to get Fitzsimmons on the third base bag. At home, if they can close this one out. The 0-1 pitch to Capers is a fly ball into left center field. C.J. Huntley drifts underneath it. He has it, and this game's over as Indiana State wins it 13-2 the final score. The Sycamores now 25-7, 2-2 in the Valley. Valpo falls to 6-22, 1-6 in the Valley.